What is up guys, it's Razor, and welcome back to Empty Bottle and Default Armor Challenge Run of Radiata Stories. In the previous episode we started recruiting characters. Uh, we got uh, Clyde by default. Uh, we recruited Bruce by getting our HP below 50% and talking to him. And we also got Carlos by finding his contacts. In this episode, we're going to continue recruiting characters. Alright, so... Let's head in here real quick. Um, okay, he's not in here. Um, there he is. I'm looking for Aldo. Um, ah, oh, come on, dude. Don't go in there. I wanted to talk to you. Anyway, I don't think it matters. Um, we can go ahead and go... Let's just go out exploring and trying to find people. We can get out of at this point. Uh, we just have to go out of our way to go get him. I don't think I'm going to worry about him right now. I'll get him later, I think. What's up, Elena? How's it going? Hello. So Elena and Adina look exactly the same. They're twin sisters. All right, so Sonelia, she, when you talk to her, she'll give you a quiz. And you have to get her questions right in order to recruit her. Alright, so the answer to this first question is the Tria region. So, we'll go ahead and answer that. Now, this, one actually, this one's actually pretty obvious. Because, obviously, there's no grocery stores in a video game. I mean, come on. So, you can rule out grocery store... We already know who runs the pub. Remember we went to the pub in a couple episodes, or was it last episode or the episode before we went to the pub? So we know who owns the pub, so it's obviously general store. So that one should have been kind of obvious to you. I don't want to press X too quick because it'll, I might accidentally hit a question or I might accidentally hit an answer that I didn't want. So the correct answer to this question is Nick. And so Nelia joins the friend, uh, for added to the friend list. Hello. No, I haven't come to ask you out. That's weird.
No panic powder. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be exploring right now. I should probably be going to recruit characters, but... It's fun going around... It's fun going around kicking things. You can't really do this in a lot of JRPGs, so... Actually, I don't think you can do that in any JRPGs now that I think about it. This is like the only one. Alright, so I'm actually not going to talk to... Um, I'm not going to talk to Morphine because... Um, we can get him later. Um, part of recruiting him will advance the time, and I don't want to advance the time right now, so... Okay, we can actually get Paul. Let me go, get, let me go put Tanelli in my party real quick. In order to recruit Paul, you have to have a female in your party. And I should really go pick up the fairy earrings as well. Or feather feather earrings. I called them fairy earrings in the last episode. Because I'm so used to playing Final Fantasy games. So there we go. Let's go uh, recruit Paul now. I have no clue where he went though. He may have went to sleep. I hope not. I think he goes in here and flirts with this girl, though. Nope, I, I bet he went to sleep. Oh, well. So you can buy some advanced herbs here if you want to. Um, I'd recommend just waiting until later in the game, though. We saw Elena, now here's Adina. Hello. So we didn't get a lot of people recruited though, unfortunately. Alright, we can recruit this guy though. This is Cosmo. <laughs> So yeah, just talk to him and he joins. You have to be level 10 or higher though. Which at this point in the game, you should be higher than level 10, I would imagine. Alright, so let's head on over to the Void community. Since a lot of these Alashian Order people are going to be sleeping, so... The Void community is the Thieves Guild, and they're usually up at night and stuff like that. At the Void Community, you'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. So... <laughs> I had to say that. Oh yeah, this is Aiden. We want to we wanna actually put him in our party. 
All right, so yeah, we'll, we will go ahead and put him in our party as um, soon as we can. Let's go ahead and fight him too while we're here. He's a very weak character, so. Yeah, they got them annoying mages though. Oh, it's so annoying. Now these these mages will annoy the he heck out of you. Trust me. They like to knock you down and stuff. It's really annoying. Uh, later is an ability uh, that will prevent you from being knocked down. On top of them being able to knock you down, they also do a lot of damage as well, so that's, uh... So since all I have is empty bottle, I'm going to throw some powders at him. Uh... Oh yeah, I want to analyze them too. But keep in mind that they'll be higher level mages later on, so... On top of that, they make the mages like higher level too. It's like really annoying. So they take forever to kill. Alright, so now let's take out this guard and then that'll be it. So yeah, Aiden's very easy, but the the guards and the mages are like very annoying. But 400 EXP and 200 daggles, so I'll take it. So yeah, make sure to go uh, put Aiden in your party though. It's pretty important. Okay, I want to buy some toadstool powders. These are very helpful. Oh, and I... Yeah, we want startle powders. These are really good, too. Especially in this run. When I don't have many tools to, at my disposal. Also, you can sort your inventory by pressing the select button. I didn't mention that earlier in the game, so. Alright, let's head to the Void community. I didn't think you were a woman, dude. I didn't even know what you were, to be honest. So yeah, that's another trash area. You can get an empty bottle again. You can get one every day, too, so...
All right, so here's Alba. Alba's actually a very good character. People actually recommend putting this guy in your party because he has a lot of a lot of attack. A lot of strength. He's actually one of the strongest characters in the game. And you gotta battle him though. And we have to battle him with empty bottle. Yeah, he headbutts people. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, though. So, yeah, just be careful of his headbutts. He leaves himself vulnerable, though. And has a very short range attack, too. I think he can also steal, too. So yeah, we gotta battle him two days in a row in order to recruit him, so. But it's almost past midnight, so we can battle him again and not long from now. What a gold digger. So this is the Void community and um, I'm not going to bother going in the shops right now because it's not important. Now we can come back to the shops later on in the game so I'm not really too concerned. Move out of the way, dude. Get out the way. Get out the way. Okay, this is Pinky. Alright, so he's sleeping right now. If you kick him while he's sleeping. You gotta kick him more times. And he'll wake up. And he'll join you. And if you defeat him, if you kick through him and defeat him, uh, you can get the Paya Paya Dance uh, 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 record. So yeah, Pinky joins. Remember, in order to recruit him, though, he has to be sleeping. If he's awake throwing his knife, it doesn't count. He has to be sleeping. So just something to keep in mind. All right, so this guy over here. Hey. This is Gold. I always have trouble pronouncing this dude's name. Goalie or Gold Goey? I don't even know. 
But you just talk to him in the casino, you have to fight him, and then he joins. He's fairly easy, he's only level 6, so... Alright, I took him down. Also, you can... Once you have go uh, this guy in your party... If you put him... Yeah, if you put him in your party and talk to Butch... Uh, you can also recruit but, uh, Butch as well. So you got you can only recruit this guy if you talk to him in the casino, though. Hello. I think in order to recruit Franklin here, you have to have all party. You have to have all party of females, I believe. He's actually part of the Verif Institute, but he comes here to the Void Institute for some weird reason. Why? Probably to knack on some honeys or something, I don't know. Why? I can't believe I just said knacking on some honeys. But, here we are. What was that line like a line back in 2000 or back in the 2000s, 1990s? But I said it. Can't take it back now. What? Ah. Okay, so Dan is like missing a recipe. We have to find his recipe for him. Uh, we got to go to Tria Village, yeah. Don't worry, dude. We'll find it. I know exactly where it's at. Hi. I don't know nothing about Serbia. She's like, she's not very important. But she somehow knows Jack. I don't know why. doesn't actually say why either so all right keep iris in mind for later as well because um you're gonna need a lot of money to recruit her she's a very expensive recruit Yeah, Interlude and Eon. Eon's like a ninja. And Interlude is a weirdo. <laughs> Alright, so I think we can recruit Aldo now. So let's go see if we can get him. I do believe that we can recruit Aldo. I'm not sure about this woman either. I think she's dating uh, Nocturne, I believe. Or not Nocturne, but um, Ortoraz. But you don't really know a lot about her either, so I don't know. She's not one of the characters you can recruit.
Let's go find out real quick. See if he's in the same spot he was before. Hey. Oh. 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 Alright, yeah, here's Aldo. Hey. Alright, so we gotta battle him again. Remember, be careful of his headbutts. Ha <laughs> ha 